Hola, sean bienvenidos a Noticias Hola, yo soy Mr. Creeper y esta semana les traigo noticias como la nueva Snapchat 21W06A El video que ha publicado, los dos videos que han publicado Minecraft de Lunar Near Year Comes to the Minecraft Marketplace Y el video de Minecraft Dungeons The Early Flames of the Nether DDC Que es... Eh, como obviamente dice, un DLC, así que empecemos y vamos a iniciar con las noticias de la nueva Snapshot de Minecraft 1.17 Esta nueva Snapshot se basa más bien en la nueva generación de cuevas y hay, pase, y hay nuevas funciones de esta Snapshot que son las cuevas de ruido y acuíferos eh, también como se llama, hay unos cambios eh, en la generación de mundo eh, cambios del eje de, min, de mina, error, hay un par de errores corregidos obte, y hay una forma de obtener la instalación y te dejaré esa información aquí abajo en la descripción y un video donde te puedes informar más acerca del tema así que continuamos con los videos de Moyen Bueno, y ya que ha llegado a esta parte del video, pues recuerdo que te puede, le puedes dar like, suscribirte, darle a la campanita, compartir el video con toda la gente que le gusta este tipo de contenido y comentar el video. Así que sin más, continuemos. Today, we're happy to be able to share with you a couple of exciting insights into the upcoming DLC, Flames of the Network. That the Nether is coming to dungeons is super exciting because we're getting all the new biomes and all the new things from vanilla into dungeons and the players will get to see a ton of new cool stuff that is exclusive to dungeons and play with their friends and now be able to play with crossplay and I think that's going to be great. So the development team chose to delve into the Nether because it's the most iconic of all the biomes in Minecraft. So many new, different and exciting things you can find in the Nether compared to the Overworlds. The Nether is a really good fit for the Dungeons format and for the Dungeons game. When I play original Minecraft, I always view the Nether as this dangerous otherworldly dimension that I barely have explored. It's always a process of, of looking at the base game, playing the base game, talking to the base game developers and see what would they do if they could expand on this environment into Minecraft Dungeons. So we started out with a lot of concept art for the Nether. We looked at all the biomes and uh, tried to find interesting takes on uh, what could be added to the environments to bring life to them. We studied the piglins and their technology and created weapons and armors and props and set pieces based on that. We looked at the forest and added our own touch to the plant life there. But it's not always a matter of just lifting everything out from the original game and just copy paste it into Minecraft Dungeons. We have to adapt it to, to the play style of our game and also to all the visuals that we have added to Minecraft Dungeons that differ from the original game. The paid part uh, of the Nether DLC that we're launching consists primarily of six missions set in the Nether. Uh, and they correspond to different biomes that you find as a player in the Nether. So you're basically getting a whole new dungeons over. Uh, we've worked super hard to make the Nether feel like the Minecraft Nether and at the same time have the dungeon twists uh, with a lot of new things and challenges. And I think it's going to be very fun to explore. Of course, we always mix paid part and a free part, so everyone can take benefit of the cool things we do to expand Minecraft Dungeons. But really, it's all down to the amount of new cool content we get in the net. In the free part of the Nether update, you'll find something called Gilded Items. 
and these are uh, versions of regular uh, gear that have an extra randomized built-in enchantment. Um, but it's also inherently harder to enchant, so it will cost more enchantment points to invest into. And so finding the right item uh, with, with the specific enchantment that you want is going to be really interesting. Uh, it's, it'll be a challenge to do for sure, but when you find it, that's going to be a powerful item that you may want to stick with for a long time. The ancient hunts were an idea that came out of the blue in a meeting. Somebody said, like, what if the player could make their own missions? And everyone was like, what? Uh, and we decided that uh, to find a way to make it fit within dungeons so the player will be able to input um, gear in certain orders and in certain ways and then create a mission with special biomes and rewards and be able to fight special mobs unique to this uh, feature. Without uh, telling too much, uh, you as a player will be able to have a bit more control over what the levels look like and what they uh, include. Of course, there will be uh, surprises as well in the ancient hunts. Um, that's something we're trying to weave into the generation of the levels. Uh, uh, unique events that you can explore and find. Since you have some control over how the levels are generated, you can also share whatever you found so that other players can also find these unique, interesting surprises. Ancient hunts and Apocalypse Plus do not directly interact. In Ancient Hunts, you get to choose your own difficulty, just like you do with any other mission in the game. We are uh, expanding Apocalypse Plus alongside this update, and with that expansion, we're also rebalancing Apocalypse Plus uh, to provide a new and more interesting experience for players. Besides being the DLC with the most biomes, it's also the DLC with the most mobs. Some mobs are well familiar from uh, vanilla. Some mobs are new as well, like the uh, piglin fungus thrower, which is a ranged mob uh, that throws like pink fungus grenades. It has a cool bandana as well. There might be a baby ghast in there. For this update, we are of course bringing all the new mobs that have been introduced to the Nether, both from the beginning and since the new Nether update on Minecraft Vanilla. With our new merchants appeared a new Piglin merchant, which is this very uh, charismatic character that will trade you extremely exclusive and special items for gold. And this piglin is very unique because it lives in the overworld uh, with the help of some mushrooms and spores. So I think it's going to add a lot to the, to the camp. The piglin merchant is a piglin that uh, found a way to survive in the overworld without uh, being zombified. Um, when you open the portals to the nether, you will find that this merchant has moved into your home base. And as with any uh, piglin, they only accept gold in their transactions. So you will have to find a way to, uh, to find gold to get those coveted items that the piglin merchant will uh, supply you with. So we have a sword made of scrap metal that mostly looks like a chainsaw. You have big clubs made of old bone. You have uh, bows made of vine from the forest biomes. Grenades made of fungus. We are trying to tell a story without really telling it. The piglins have been there for a while and we leave some clues to what they have been doing all these years. There's a lot of new missions to play in the DLC. We incorporated the uh, the biomes that you're used to from the Nether, so it's the Nether wastes, puzzle deltas, the forest biomes, Soul Sand Valley fortress as well. Obviously, they're gonna feel and look very different. It's gonna be very rich, and they have all these lava effects, and we have all these little nooks and crannies to explore, and. Uh, yeah, tons of new mobs. A lot of new caves. We call them the golden rooms. The gold, of course, being the new currency, and uh, this is the place to look for gold. We're using all the bells and whistles of particles and lights and environmental effects, uh, animations and vivid colors, so it's a new take on the nether. 
We've been so inspired by the Vanilla team and all their great efforts and enriching Nether and being able to take that vision and bringing that into Dungeons and putting the Dungeons touch on it. The most important thing above all is of course you, the players. We want to create something really fun for you to you know, enjoy. And I think we've done so. So, warmly welcome into the flames of the net. Bueno, ya que has llegado hasta el final de este video, recuerdo que puedes darle like, suscribirte, darle a la campanita, compartir el video a la vez con toda la gente que le gusta este tipo de contenido, comentar y recuerda vivir tus sueños y no soñar tu vida. Adiós mis queridos amigos.